Hi, how are you today? Today I'm going to show you how I fix a messy back canvas and add basic hanging hardware. For this I have framers tape, hanging wire, measuring tape, scissors, wire cutters, a couple sharpies, a few large D-rings with flat head screws, and my little driver. So I'm going to be adding this to a familiar piece that I did. Um, the back is really messy. It's a re-pour and I didn't tape it initially. So I am going to put down some framers tape. And this is a simple process. It's just like taping the back when you do a prep before pour. However, this tape is going to stay on permanently and it's going to look a lot nicer and it will also protect the back of the canvas, smooth out all those icky parts and protect the wall that you're hanging it on. So pretty simple process, just lay the tape down, cut the edges and you'll see in a moment here how much nicer it looks. I wouldn't be happy selling this painting to anybody with this, with it looking like this. Normally I tape my canvases, but sometimes I just get a whim that I want to paint and I just start painting and, and uh, forego a little bit of the, the prep stuff. So yeah, that looks way better. So I choose my orientation. I'm going to be going vertically. Um, this is a 24 inch canvas, so I like to place my um, D-rings about a third of the way down the canvas. So I measure to eight inches. And I just take my little D-ring, put it, place it where I want it to go, and then make a mark where the screw is going to go. I usually like to drill um, a pilot hole first, power tools are really not my forte. <laughs> I got better as the day went along because I did about 10 canvases this day, but yeah. Alright, so once the first D-ring is in, what I'll do is I will go and measure the placement of that. And using that measurement, I go to the other side of the canvas and use that as my measurement for placing the second D-ring. So I don't measure eight inches down like I did the first time. I use the actual measurement of where that D-ring is. And then I just put in the second D-ring. And you can decide whether you want to have the D-rings facing each other or have them at a little bit of an angle. For the wire, I go down and through and to the left. And then I'm up and over to the right, leaving a loop. And then I go up through the, the D-ring and then down through the loop. I pull that all tight with the free end to make a knot. And then I wrap and coil the free end around the wire and snip off any ex excess. For the second side, I usually measure across and then add in four or five inches, snip that off, and then I just repeat the process on the other side. It's up to you how long, how much slack you want to leave in your wire. I usually leave quite a bit because it's easier to shorten it 
and have enough wire than it is to lengthen it and not have enough wire. Normally, I don't add hardware to my paintings. I usually include it in a small package and give it to the buyer so that they can decide on their own orientation and you know if they even want to use certain hardware. Normally I also add the little rubber bumpers at the bottom of the painting in the corners, but unfortunately I don't have any on hand. So it looks great. I hope this helped and thanks so much for hanging out. Have a good day. Bye.